Welcome to another edition of Around Town with Larry Seaman. This is a special edition where we're in Methuen, Massachusetts, a bookstore called Borders. They're having the final installation of Harry Potter series. The date is July 20th, 2007. It's at about 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. that is. We're all piling up here to wait for the first lot of books to come through here today. I'm the sales manager at the Loop, at the Borders at the Loop, and this is a sorting hat, and what we're doing is we're walking around, and we're actually sorting the children into different groups. Is it good luck? It's not so much good luck, it's just putting them in different groups, with it, like Slytherin, Gryffindor. Slytherin! Oh! Ready? Yeah. Ravenclaw! I wanted Ravenclaw! Uh, you want to get sorted? <laughs> Okay. Yes! Yes! I'm Chris. Uh, and I'm Paul. I'm uh, supposed to be a Slytherin uh, wizard. I was Darth Vader, Harry's real father, but I had to change out of my costume because it was really hot. I was here a little while ago. All right. Um, we're here to get the Harry Potter book. Obviously. Why are you get the book and not to be a part of the experience? Uh, it's the experience too. Yeah, both. Mostly the experience. My sister's getting the book for me. I think. Yep. Now is Harry going to live or die? Okay. Harry's going to die. Harry no, 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 no. no. Um, there's a couple theories we have. Pete, 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 we need your theory about uh, Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney? Oh my Dick God! Cheney don't theory. even Pete. No. Okay. Oh so, God. don't you think it's weird that Cheney gets the football so he can call out all the nukes the same day the Harry Potter book comes out? Look! Look at how it ends. Hogwarts gets nuked. Yeah. Over. Just stop, just stop. And um. J.K. Rowling did say the book would come to an abrupt ending, so that would be fitting. Name's Jamie. All right. I won't even show you that. I'm Candy. Kara. Chris. And of course you're here today for the book or just for the being here as part of the event? Both. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm just here for the party. <laughs> okay. All right. Exactly. I'm just here for the party, so. That's fine, that's fine. So, yeah. are you dressed up as a certain character? Yep, I'm dressed up as Tonks. Okay, and who's that? Uh, she's an aura, she's a metamorphosis, she's one of my favorite characters. Very good. And why? Because she can... She's, I don't know, her personality and just her character in general, I like it. Yeah, yeah. And you? I'm Luna Lovegood. Okay. The character Luna Lovegood is a little crazy. She's one of those nice, happy people that nobody knows why they're happy, but they always seem to be happy. Yeah. And it creeps people out. All right. <laughs> they Ex think she's crazy. Excellent. They could be right. <laughs> now, you wait. This is uh, 1130 now, or almost 1130. Uh, how long have you been here? We were here the first time at 9.45 this morning, uh, left and came back. Yeah, right. They right. got here before me. I had to work. I came when I get done out of work. We've okay. been here since 9. Is it worth the wait? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you after I read the book. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, have any of you read the whole series? I have. You yes. have? Yeah. Okay. What, what do you expect the ending to be? Um, hopefully happy. I don't know. I want... I don't know, I expect Harry to survive, and I don't really know too much of what to expect, because JK likes to surprise us, but I hope, I hope Snape is really good, and I hope Harry lives, I hope everybody, all my favorite characters survive, though I know they probably won't. Right. What's your opinion about the book? I think and, the books are, and the characters. I think the books are great, the characters are great. I like how she's progressed with the, the kids as they're getting older, the books are getting more mature, and keeping up to the levels. Um, I believe that these guys were his age when the book started, and as they grow older, they can keep interested in it because she keeps it more, you know, level. So the kids can still get it that are younger, but there's more in it that the older people reading it can get. All right, excellent. Thank you. 
Uh, my name is Lori Modak. And you're a customer you here yet. for Borders? Or? Yes, I am a customer of Borders. Long time. Long time. Because yeah. Because of Harry Potter or because of other? Ah, uh, because I'm a diehard reader. Yeah. And why are you here today? I am here this evening to get the new Harry Potter book. I am a big Harry Potter fan. Yes, I've read every book several times. Yes. It is, yeah. It's the um, probably second time that I've come here at midnight to, to catch a book. So. Hi, my name is Adrian. Or, I'm well. I'm here to get the book, but tonight I'm appearing as Bellatrix. Just so you know, check out the costume. Tell me about the character. She's awesome. She's a. Uh, she's on the dark side, you know. She. It's just awesome and cool and fun and crazy, like me. Yeah, witchy, I would say, definitely, is an adjective. What do you hope the book will tell you? That a girl named Adrian ends up going to Hogwarts and um, Harry Potter falls in love with her. My name is Julia Bailey and I'm from Plastow. <laughs> yep. Why come to Methuen? Well, this was the closest Harry Potter party to our house, and I heard there was going to be a lot of stuff happening here. And also, I ordered a book from Borders, so. So you wanted to be here not only to get the book, but to be a part of the event. Yeah, I wanted to see other people in costumes. And, and what character are you portraying tonight? I am Cho Chang, Harry Potter's like girlfriend. So yeah. Tell me a little bit about the character. Well, Cho is a part of Ravenclaw, and that's why I have the blue tie on. Um, she's really smart. Um, I recently saw the movie, and I read the book a while ago, and she kind of, um, she kind of gets Harry in trouble a little bit. But I think she's really a good person, so that's why I want to dress up like her. Well, you have the book ordered, is it? Um, actually, well, my friend that's here, she has a book, uh, a book ordered here, but I ordered one online. It's going to be delivered to my house. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you. I'm Bob Lennon. And I'm Kelly Lennon. And we're from Methuen. Okay, great. And you're here today to, uh, to be a part of the event or to get the book? We're, she, we, this is our... Fourth time doing the Harry party, party parties. Yeah, it's kind of sad that it's going to end, huh? Well, yeah, it is, but it's exciting. And you are dressed as who? Hermione Granger. Yeah. Could you tell me, tell me a little bit about the character? Uh, she's uh, Harry's best friend. She's really smart, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Also, we have a special guest with us tonight that's going to pull a another ticket for the per first person to receive the first book. It's me and Manzi. And we'd all like to thank you for shopping borders and enjoying the evening with us. We hope you had a good time. I won. Yeah. Okay, here's the lucky winner.